single player selected. And welcome, friends. Welcome. This is Pugman and Ship Pants. Hey! You're watching Pugman Plays, and welcome, friends, to the Oregon Trail on mm. the Apple II. Now, this is not a game I owned or <laughs> have ever played, but Chip Pants, this is apparently one of your favourite games. This is out of the Chip Pants bin, for sure. It sure is out of the bin. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Whatever. It's a good game. I'm just so happy um, you found it. So this is a this is a game you've talked about before to me. Yes. I've kind of heard about it. I've not really seen it. You've missed out. I've, I see it's a text adventure. Mm -hmm. It's a game you wanted to showcase to the people and mm -hmm. to and to me and to you. Absolutely, you've shown me all about your games. You continue to show me about your games. I have very few in my library, but this one stands out for sure. And this is a game you played at school, I take it. it yes, one of like those kind of schooly games. I was a wee chip pants playing this in the computer lab. <laughs> all right, friends. Well, I just got visited by a pug. <laughs> I think he's off to visit you. <laughs> He's, he's real excited about traveling this Oregon Trail. The Oregon Trail. Well, it mm. sounds adventurous. So without further ado, friends, go grab your sandwich and drink while we go on an Oregon Trail. Any any specific sandwich we need to pack? But there's not many things that will su survive across a long trek like this. So how about just uh, a jar full of peanuts and some water? <laughs> this sounds like one depressing trail. <laughs> All right, Chip Pants, do you, do you want me to take take lead on this? Or? I'd like you to take lead on this, Pug. All All right. it, it's, it's a very simple game. We are starting off on the opposite side of the country in Missouri. And the year is, I think, like 1847. Okay. And uh, we... Our objective is to load up our wagon and travel across the country to Oregon and uh, start a new life together. Okay, and it's new to you too, really, because you, last time you played it was probably about 20, 30 years ago. Absolutely, and I never completed it. I was always too crap, and there's a there's a huge randomness chip in this game. So, as in life, you know, yep. stuff's going to happen along your journey, and always you just does. have to... <laughs> you just got to suck it up. Suck it up and uh, continue on. Or go to bed, <laughs> depressed. <laughs> All right, let's see. You may, number one, travel the trail. Travel number the two, trip. learn about the trail. Learn about the trail. Three, see the Oregon top ten. That's where we're going to come. Or turn sound off. Shall we learn about the trail? Go on, Pug. Just Let's learn the about the trail, people. For the people that don't know nothing about this. Try, to, try taking a journey by covered wagon across... Wait, wait, wait. You, you have to set the mood. Everybody close your eyes. Close your eyes. And visualize. I don't think I have the accent for it, Chip Pants, but I'll try. <laughs> Go on, Pug. Try taking a journey by covered wagon across 2,000 miles of plains, rivers, and mountains. Try. On the plains, will you slosh your oxen through mud and water-filled ruts, or will you plod through dust six inches deep? Mm. How will you cross the river? If you have money, you might take a ferry, if there is a ferry, or... You can ford the river and hope you and your wagon aren't swallowed alive. I don't know what ford is. I don't. What about supplies? Well, if you're low on food, you can hunt. You might get a buffalo. You might. And there are bear in the mountains. Ooh. At the Dales, you can try navigating the Columbia River. And if running the rapids with a makeshift raft makes you queasy, better take the Barlow Road. I already remember that. Are these all roads you know, Chip Pants? Heck no, I don't remember this. If for some reason you don't survive, your wagon burns or thieves steal your oxen, or you run out of provisions, or if you die of cholera, don't give up. Try again and again until your name is up with the others on the Oregon Top Ten. I don't like the sound of this. You may use these colours to adjust your monitor or television. television. That wasn't part of the journey for the Oregon Trail. This is new. <laughs> you may turn the sound on or off during the program by pressing Control S. Okay. Just love these options, Pugman. 
We're, <laughs> we're sport for choice. <laughs> All right. Let me see the top ten. Go on. Stephen Meek. Rating Travel Guide. Escobar. Okay. Well, we're we're going to be up here, Pug. Okay? I don't know who any of these people are, but our name's going to come at the top. How are points earned? On arriving in Oregon, the most important resource is the people you... Is the people you have with you. You receive points for each member of your party who arrives safely. You receive more points if they arrive in good health. Okay. There we go. I see. Okay. Everybody's got to make the journey if you want to get maximum points. The resources you arrive with will help you get started in a new land. You receive points for each item you bring safely to Oregon. So we get most for the wagon. We get a little bit for an ox. And not much for the rest, is it? No, not really. <laughs> You receive points for your occupation in the new land because more farmers and carpenters were needed than bankers. Mm. You receive double points upon arriving in Oregon as a carpenter and triple points for arriving as a farmer. Oh, man. Ooh, okay. So yeah. we've got occupations too. God, this game's got everything. <laughs> All right, shall we travel the, travel the trail? Absolutely. That's a bit of a tongue twister for me. <laughs> All right, many kinds of people made the trip to Oregon. You may be a banker from Boston, a carpenter from Ohio, a farmer from Illinois. What are the differences, Pug? Tell tell the people's the differences between these choices. Although it's pretty it, they kind of explained it, didn't it? You you get more points for um being your a profession farmer. that yes, that makes it across. Okay. Find out the differences. Go on quickly. Travelling to Oregon isn't easy, but if you're a banker, you'll have more money for supplies and services than a carpenter or a farmer. However, the harder you have to try, the more points you deserve. Therefore, the farmer earns the greatest number of points, and the banker earns the least. Okay. All right, so what should we be? I tell you what, Pug, this isn't going to be a one and done kind of a, a journey and playthrough here. What do you We're mean? Just, it's just, it was so difficult... Um, I like I said, never completed it. It's we're probably going to end up being all of these. So pick whichever one you want being to start off. Being all of off. this, I, I, I say we be the banker. I reckon that's going to be the easiest because mm -hmm. we start with a lot of money. Go on, and we can buy our way through. I I like your way of thinking. Yeah. Go on. Unless we get looted. Oh, so is that me with my oxen? <laughs> no, that's me. This is I. I'm the leader oh, no. of this wagon. I didn't want to wear a dress, Pug, so that's Chip Pants over there with oh, her shotgun and her pants. Oh, God. You're, you're old brown pants, are you? <laughs> yes. What is the first name of the wagon leader? That's Chip Pants. All right. No. It... What? Brown Pants. What? I can't fit it in. Brown you're, Pants. You, 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 you got lucky. <laughs> Chip Pants. Perfect. What are the first names of your four other members in your party? Well, Got we're it. have Pugman. Oh, who are going to be the rest of them? we got to do some wacky stuff here. You... Go if on, it's you about anybody? survival, I say we, we need a Mad Max Mel Gibson. Oh, yeah, good one. Mel Gibson. Oh, I can't fit it. Couldn't fit it. Um, Crazy Mel. <laughs> good. Okay, somebody else. Spider-Man. Yeah, you, you can't go on a long trip without Spider-Man. Yeah, he's going to come in handy. One more. And who's a good one? What about if we create one character that represents all the people? Oh, okay. We call them the people. The peoples. Peoples. That's a lot of people. The people. <laughs> uh, oh, that kind of fits. Uh, yeah. The people that's Perfect. you guys listening <laughs> we hope you make it with us all right don't eat too much these are correct oh we got graphics and everything oh, it went quick though <laughs> it is 1848 people your jumping off place for oregon is independence missouri you must decide which month to leave independence all right. What do you think, Pug? 
how long is the trip how long does the trip take do you think chip i if i remember at least six months to a year what i think we're so. going to be on the road for six months long time long time you know yeah. we're gonna have to shoot our own food and forage and um who knows fight disease then we don't make the same mistakes the nazis made when invading russia we start yeah. as early as we can let's start around about march yeah in the spring good idea Before leaving independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have $1,600 in cash. That's crazy. But you don't have to spend it all now. Okay. I wonder what the equivalent is. God, for back in the day, that had to be like a million dollars. Oh, we are rich then. You can buy whatever you need at Matt's General Store. Hello, I'm Matt. <laughs> so you're going to Oregon... I can fix you up with what you need. A team of oxen to pull your wagon. Need it. Clothing for both summer and winter. Yeah. Plenty of food for the trip. Ammunition need. for your rifles. Definitely. Spare parts for your wagon. Probably a good idea. All right. So... Matt looks uh, honest. I trust his prices. He does. And you could rub his head for good luck. <laughs> um, we're going right. to need oxen. Oxen. One. There are two oxen to a yoke. I Good. recommend at least three yoke. I charge forty dollars a yoke. How many yoke do you want? What's a yoke, Chip Hats? I a group. I uh, that's what I take it as. Okay, must be two, right? So three. Uh, to, uh yeah. How many in a yoke though? Get, uh, there's two per. Oh, yoke, sorry, so two oxen in a yoke. So that's gonna if we get three yoke, that's gonna give us six oxen. Is that enough? Yeah, go on. I don't think you can get more than that. Okay. He recommends at least three, so we'll do three. Good, good, good. I'm going to need food. I'm going to need some sandwiches and drinks. <laughs> I recommend you take at least 200 pounds of food for each person in your family. I see that you have five people in all. You'll need flour, sugar, bacon and coffee. My price Staples, is 20 cents a pound. How many pounds of food do you want? So, 200 per person, five of us, so 1,000 pounds. Need 1,000 pounds of food. It's recommended. But have we got any, any greedy buggers in the party, Chip Pants, that <laughs> might need a bit extra? I don't know. I'm looking at the peoples right now. Yeah, I'm looking at them too. They look a bit <laughs> dodgy. <laughs> don't trust them with the food. <laughs> Go ahead, get the recommended amount. Go ahead, get a thousand. Recommended? Pounds. Yeah. Okay. Because he's right. Like they did warn you that uh, you don't have to spend all your money right now. There'll be places along the road to stop for more provisions. Do we need clothing? Or are we just like a nudist traveling wacky band? <laughs> I reckon people uh, will leave us alone if we go across naked. <laughs> Think we're crazy. You need warm clothing in the mountains. I recommend taking at least two sets of clothes per person. Each set is $10. All right, 10 sets. Um, I trust Matt. So two sets of clothing per person, 10. Okay. And if anybody else dies, we just take their clothes. We'll take their boots. That's how <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Don't waste good boots. Ammunition. I sell ammunition in boxes of 20 bullets each. Box costs $2. How many boxes so, do we need? So cheap. I say get get tons. Get. Um, Are we going to be doing a lot of shows in shit pants? You got to shoot your food because they're only bringing bacon, coffee, flour, sugar. I think that's what he said. Um, so you're going to need to to kill. What am I going to do with the flour, chip pants? Um, you use it to to make some gravy. You know, you got to have gravy and biscuits, oh and bread. God. All right, should we say ten boxes? Yeah, ten boxes. Two hundred bullets. I'll get us started. And spare parts. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea to have a few spare parts for your wagon. Here are the prices. Oh, wagon wheels. I tell you what, Chip Pants, wagon wheels were a good chocolate you could get in the UK. Back oh, in the day. yeah. It was like, like moon pies. It was like spicy marshmallow or something. The y'alls actually were, y'alls were crap. American what? moon pies are the best. Have I had a moon pie? I don't know. You can't have them now because they're made with pig. <laughs> okay. Well, fair enough then. 
Um, wagon wheels. Get as How many, many do we can. need? Go, well, we've got four wheels on our wagon. Get four. Get four. Huh. Can I get three? We'll get three. You know, I'm a bit worried that you're going to be our leader, Chip Pants, across Why? this trail. What do you mean? <sighs> you need a fearless leader. You Axles. Know? Um, I, well, I don't know what an axle is. I Just... think they're like a turny thing underneath the... Uh... Get two. I think there's two wagon, for a wagon. I was going to call it a trailer. Um, two? Yeah, get two. Will we need money later on, or should I just blow all our money? No, you should hang on just in case um, you need some things more than others later. He, you can't really predict what you're going to need. He's selling, selling us tongues. Wagon tongues? I don't know what that is. Get four. Well, they're only ten bucks. Go and get three then. What is a tongue? <laughs> if anybody knows in the comments, please leave it down there. Okay, I think we're done. Total bill, 520. Still leaves us with plenty of money. Excellent. Uh, I think we're done here. We've got to bribe our way across the country as well. Well then, you're ready to start. Good luck. You have a long and difficult journey ahead of you. Now load in the wagon. Oh, oh Jesus, that's loud. <laughs> it scared Whoa. me. Whoa. <laughs> and called a macaroni. Oh, this has music and everything. Dun, dun, dun. So it has music and pictures. <laughs> you were really living it wild, Chip Pants, back it's, in the day. It sets the mood great, though, doesn't it? Doesn't it just make you feel like a proper American? Alright. The weather is cold. Our yep. health is good. Good. We're at a steady pace. Our rations are filling. Everybody's getting full back there. Maybe they should just cut back a little, you know? All right, so we've got some options. Continue on the trail, check supplies, look at the map, change the pace, change food rations, hmm. stop to rest, attempt to trade, talk to people, buy supplies. Should we have a look at the map? Look at the map. Let's see I where think we... That's a, that's a good start to yeah. actually find out where we're going. Uh, so we're the little star in the bottom right-hand corner, I take it. So that's Independence, Missouri. And the squares are fort, so I guess we're going to go to fort to fort. We have to be able to buy supplies along those places. That's good. Okay. Okay. And the finish over there on the left. Yeah. We did this trip in a Pinsky pug. We did. <laughs> um. You ready to kick off this trail? Yeah. Let's just continue. I'm going to on use. I'm going to use a whole box of shotguns and just start blasting in the <laughs> air in excitement. <laughs> That's us. That music. <laughs> From Independence, it is 102 miles to the Kansas River crossing. Mm. Good luck, Pug. Press re oh, we're moving. <laughs> we're moving. <laughs> look, at the, look at the days oh, going wow. along, too. It's awesome. <laughs> Wrong trail, lose two days. Chip Pants, why are you blaming me? You're in charge of the, You're the leader. I'm the leader, I'm not the driver. <laughs> Took us the wrong way. <laughs> All right, continue. Good, continue. I don't think you lose too much. You just eat more food than what you really oh, should. Okay. <laughs> Coming oh, up on a river yeah, here. Yeah, we're crossing a river. You are now at the Kansas River crossing. Would you like to look around? Should we look around in case there's anybody hiding in the bushes? Go on, look around. About Take a look. to ambush us. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> Kansas River Crossing. Oh, look at the graphics, Pug. Aren't you feeling that? I am. It's better than the Spectrum. It might be, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Oh, I guess we're going to continue. Mm-hmm. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 631 feet across. That's oh, huge. That's quite a bit, people. Mm -hmm. And five foot two deep in the middle. I don't like the sound of that. Nope. The weather's cold. That's not good. Attempt to ford the river. I assume ford is just 
push just forward. Just hike up your pants and go. Yeah, I think that's maybe, what maybe that we means. could kind of walk on top of the people. <laughs> I don't know if they'd appreciate that. Number two, cork wagon and float it across. What does that? What the hell is that, Chip Vance? That uh, that probably just means turn it into a James Bond mobile, <laughs> and then just go. <laughs> okay, take a ferry across. I wait, like that one. Wait to see if conditions improve. Get more information. Because we're rich bankers, I say we take a ferry. How All right. That? If there's a ferry, absolutely. What do we got? The ferry operator says that he will charge you $5 and that will have to, and that you have to wait six days. Are you willing to do this? Go on, Pug. Yeah, I think so, right? It's only Good. five bucks. I agree. $5 is not much to safely make it across. Yes. Oh, it's counting down the dice. Everybody's eating. I bet they celebrating. Are. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, that <laughs> that's the ferry. It's a bunch of logs. I'm, I'm holding my breath here. <laughs> I know this game. <laughs> the ferry got your party and wagon safely across. Oh, was it? Was that close, Chip? Pants? It was close. Sigh of relief on that one. Back on the road, people. From the Kansas River crossing. It is 83 miles to the Big Blue River crossing. Got a lot of rivers here. The weather's cool. And we're oh, moving. Here we go. We, we need to name our ox pug. What would we call the oxen? Scrambles. Scrambles? I was going to call him Puller. You are now at the Big Blue River crossing. Would you like to look around? Yes. See if it's different than Kansas. Look at that! Oh. This takes me back, Does Pug. it take you back, Chip Pants? Yes. Okay. Oh, it's getting warmer, oh. too. So we're going to continue on, and it should tell us how deep the river is, right? Mm-hmm. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 236 feet, not as big as the last one. Yeah. It's only three feet deep in, okay. the, in the middle. Yeah. It's pretty deep, but I think we can manage that, right? Three feet. We've got big wheels. I think about the oxen, if their heads can stay above three feet. Do you think if that's... If an oxen's head is smaller than three foot, <laughs> he's like a alien experiment oxen that's just like <laughs> mini. <laughs> So what do you think? You want to forward it, Pug? It's warm weather. Attempt to ford the river. Let's do it, people. We're feeling brave. <laughs> it's warm. It's just like a nice little swim. Oh, we're going in. Looking good so far. <laughs> oh, oh, dearie me. Oh. The river is too deep to ford. You lose free wagon tongues. That's all of our tongues. That's all we bought. Yeah, but we bought extra, didn't we? No. What? Oh, God. <laughs> hey, I think that that was actually pretty good. You just lost three tongues. You didn't lose any water. I don't even know what a tongue is. <laughs> it's all right. When, when the people are sleeping, we'll cut their tongues out. We'll have, we'll have three more. <laughs> From the Big Blue River crossing, it is 119 miles to four... Kearney. 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 We'll get some tongues there. All right. We're off. I think that that was a great result. I was think that, it, was good, okay. it was good choice. You pass a grave site. Would you like to look closer? Yeah. Do some great. ghost hunting, chip pants. <laughs> or maybe we can cut some t silver tongues out of the dead. <laughs> Here <laughs> lies Andy, pepperoni and cheese. Okay. <laughs> They had a sense of humour. <laughs> oh. We're still doing good on supplies, I think. It's very, very good. Weather's warm. You are now at Fort Kearney. Would you like to look around? Yes. Aww. Are they friendly ship hats? They look it, Pug. Okay. If we have an option to trade, I think that maybe we should take a look. Okay. Uh, let's check supplies. How are we doing? Got six oxen. Still all there. Plenty of clothes. Plenty yep. of bullets. Plenty of bullets. 
plenty of wagon wheels, axles. We need some more tongues. Mm-hmm. I think we got some plenty of food, right? Yeah, we're not even ha down to half supplies yet. Doing really good. Okay. What's? The, let me look at the food rations. Change food rations. Currently filling. The amount of food the people in your party eat each day can change. These amounts are filling. Meals are large and generous. We're generous at Pugman Plays. Yep, everybody gets a sandwich and drink. We could be meagre, where they're small and adequate, or we could be bare bones. Meals are very small. Everyone stays hungry. Oh, nobody wants that. We'll keep them happy for the moment, because we don't want them eating each other. Definitely. Damn animals. <laughs> um, I say buy supplies, Pug. Okay, I just want to say change pace. Go steady. Strenuous. Grueling. Just go steady. Don't want to mm, kill the oxen. Yeah. And attempt to trade. Yes, or or trade or buy supplies. Or buy supplies. We got plenty of money. This is quite good. <laughs> All right. Um. It's better than that new Terminator movie. Oh my goodness! Everybody noticed that the price of everything has gone up as well on the road. I see. Yep. Yeah. Mm. They always get you that way. Mm-hmm. Let's get some wagon tongues. Yes. Three? Yes, get three. Max them out. Should we get some more food? We no. can afford... No? No, this is ways. Okay. I think we're still doing good. We're not even half supplies yet. We're still doing good. We got lots of forts up ahead. We're good. Let's talk to the people. Yeah, talk to the people. I, I thought Kearney Scout tells you. The game is still plentiful along here, but getting harder to find. With so many overlanders, I don't expect it to last more than a few years. Folks, shoot the game for sport. Take a small pace and let the rest rot in the sun. <sighs> the, the daft fools. Mm -hmm. Scoundrels. Okay, well, let's move on out, I say. Yeah, mm-hmm. Now, if I remember correctly, I think there's hunting in this game. That's why you got the bullets, but I don't see an option yet to do oh, that. I thought it was, like, to keep the Indians at bay or something. Nah. I don't think they had that in this game. Right, we're uh, heading to Chimney, Chimney Rock. Oh, it's got cold again. Everybody's health is good. Look at that. We've been on the... Oh, snowy. Oh. It's a blizzard. <gasps> we lose one die. We have now been on the road a month, people. Another blizzard. We're just losing a day here or there. Not too shabby. Look, look, look at our What's health. That? Oh, snowbound. Our health is only fair, pug. Well, what do we do about that? Nothing. You just, just got to keep your food up and... Morale up. We'll have uh, campfire songs. Oh, cruddy day. Broken wagon wheel. Would you like to repair it? Yes. This is where the people come in handy. <laughs> Chip hunts, get the gun. <laughs> get them to work. Get out there and fix the wagon wheel. Earn your keep. You were able to repair the wagon wheel. Well done, people. Good job. We, we won't shoot you today. <laughs> All right. Oh, health's gone back to good. Yes, yes, yes. Continue on the trail. Oh, look, you can hunt for food. Do we need food? Uh, whew, it's well, getting down. It is, isn't it? Next time you get an opportunity, maybe. Well, what's this coming up here? What is, is it? Is that a tree? What's behind us? Oh, oh my God. A thief <gasps> comes during the night and steals five sets of clothing. Dirty git. A clothing thief, really? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I wonder if you got our winters. Our winters, our winter clothes. Mm -hmm. Shall we continue on or hunt for food? Go on, just try to hunt for food. Okay. Hunting instruction. Oh! Return key to start or stop walking. Arrow keys to point the rifle. To point the rifle for expert. I.O.P. Flip me. <laughs> well, I don't Q. understand. To start or stop walking is the return key. To okay. point the rifle is the arrow keys. Space bar to fire. Space bar to fire. What are those buttons for? 
Oh, Chipence, I'm in control. Go on, Pug. Oh, this is this is a good game, people. <laughs> oh, something's peeking over there. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. get him, Pug. Go on, go on, Pug. Don't scare him off, Pug. Oh, oh you can walk if you want to. Hold Return. On. Return? What? <gasps> what? Is he attacking me? He's what? coming for me. Pugman. Oh, my God. Boom. <laughs> oh, well done. Well I feel done. a bit bad about that. Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> From 60 the animals pounds. you shot, you got 60 pounds of meat. Ooh. That's good. I'm feeling like a man, Chip Pats. <laughs> All right, do we need to hunt any more? Oh, it's your call. Let me, let's, uh, let's try one more time. How was it to shoot? You did pretty good. <laughs> oh, this one, I see it moves faster if I use those keys. <gasps> that's not, that's not even worth the no, bullet. No, it's not worth that was close. <laughs> Look for a buffalo. Look for a buffalo. Gotcha. Ooh. I am a sharp shoe, said Peter. That's, that's not even enough for a hat. Oh, oh my God, he's coming for you. Oh, oh we, we are going to be, f our bellies are going to be stuffed. <laughs> for the animals you shot, you got 1,873 pounds of meat. Holy crap. However, you were only able to carry 100 pounds back to the wagon. So I'm like that guy that they were talking about, wasting stuff. It only just took a little chunk. Oh, I feel bad. <sighs> well, so we'll keep I that just in came mind. back with a squirrel. <laughs> it's really a hat. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back with a new hat. <laughs> All right. Do we need to rest? I don't think so. Continue on the trail. Continue on the trail. Everybody's good. Pace is good. Health is good. Weather's cool. Oh, so you got to play this at school. Mm-hmm. I might have actually liked school if I got to play this. <laughs> you are now at Chimney Rock. Would you like to look around? Yeah. Let's take a look. Oh, because oh, it does look like a chimney. Mm. Is that a real life location? It probably is, isn't I it? I bet they are. You could I make that up. I bet all of these are. All right, continue on. Continue on. Do you see how long it's taking to get across the, the United States, Pug? It is taking quite a bit. Alright, full Lamy. It's Lamy. Oh, it's a fancy fort. I wonder what how, how, how expensive these guys' supplies are going to be. To continue on your journey to Oregon, please flip the diskette to side two. Okay, we'll be right back, friends. <laughs> okay, you are now at full Laramie. Would you like to look around? Yes. Yeah. Oh, who's this? It's a Native American. Well, are they are they friendly, Chip Pants? Uh, they, they look pretty friendly to okay. me. It looks like there's a whole uh, teepee village back there behind the fort. That's cool. Yeah. I, can, I like how they keep them out the fault, though. <laughs> uh, our supplies should be good. Well, we did have to repair a wagon wheel, and our supplies, our food, is getting down to 300 pounds. I say we stock up uh, a bit more on food and get another wagon wheel. All right, sounds good. So food first. How many pounds? 200 pounds per person, right? Was that right? Uh, so that's a thousand. I'd say get, get 500 pounds of food. Ooh, and look a, at how much money. Oh, okay. I thought that was... a wagon wheel? Get one wagon wheel. Oh, we've got, already got three. You you uh, you ordered four. We just need one wagon wheel. No, I pressed four for a wagon wheel, didn't I? Uh. Yeah, you may only oh. carry three. We're, we're good on wagon wheels. Oh, maybe because we repaired it, we didn't have to replace it. Maybe that's what happened there. Uh, ammunition? I didn't shoot too much, did I? No, I don't even think we're down to a box. Uh, we need to replace box. our clothing because some some Brilliant. stole all our clothes. Brilliant. How Five many, sets. How many sets? That's how many got stolen. Five sets. Brilliant. Okay, we are done. All right. We're not even down to half supplies, uh, half dollar amount yet. We started with 1,600. We're 
812 right now. We're doing great. I never had an experience this good back in the day. <laughs> so if we look at the map. Ooh. Ooh. We're approaching about halfway there, I would say, people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let's talk to the people. Maybe they have some good information. Or oh, tell us what's going on around here. All right. How do you pronounce that? Sue. A Sue Brave tells you the Pawnee are the mortal enemies of the Sioux. I would not hesitate to kill any Pawnee I met, but I have never killed a white man. All I ask from the white man is to leave me alone and to leave my buffalo alone. <laughs> mm, I did shoot too. quite a few of them. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> Let's keep that under our hat. I'll slowly take my raccoon hat off and <laughs> put it to the back of the trailer. All right. I think we shall move on. All right. What, what do you take away from that? Do you think we're going to have some Native American fights coming up? We may just have that. From Fort Lamy, it is 190 miles to Independence Rock. Okay. But we've got a good amount of food. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's watch out for them, them clothing thieves. Yep, our rocks seem to be doing good. Mm hmm. I was kind of thinking, I was wondering if we should get like two extra yoke or something. Or one extra yoke. Looks like we've got a rock in front of us. Is this Independence Rock? You are now at Independence Rock. Would you like to look, look around? Yes. Oh, oh, they wrote their names on it. They did. <laughs> Pugman plays. <laughs> Think about how many people did make this journey in the day. Yeah. Really cool. Probably still doing it. Mm -hmm. Um, Continue on the trail. Yeah. Still got nice weather. I'll tell you what, I mean, I don't want to jinx this, but back in the day, I got bit by snakes. I got oh, uh, disease. <laughs> I mean, like, people were trying to kill me. Why? Were you pulling the wagon? <laughs> find wild fruit. Oh, did you find some wild fruit, Puck? Yes, I did. <gasps> What's it going red? It oh. must be uh, Sunset. Very little water. Oh, it's desert. You are now at you are now at South Pass. Would you like to look around? Yes. Let's Take see what it look. looks like. Oh, is he pointing a gun at a Native American? A pistol? <laughs> Just his fingers. Like, hey, you there. <laughs> I wonder if a lot of people did make this journey together. Just safety in numbers, kind it of would thing. Be, uh, yeah, I would. Probably advise it. Let's continue on. The Ooh. trail divides here. You may head for Green River Crossing or head for Fort Bridger. Yeah. See the map. Let's have a look at the map. Hmm. Which one's which? I don't know. I want to kind of go. I don't want to go south. The Green River Crossing or the Fort. Let's do Green River Crossing, I I'd think. say if we needed supplies, it would probably be good to go to the Fort. Yeah, but, but we're good. We're good. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go to the Crossing. From South Pass, it is 57 miles to Green River Crossing. Mm, okay, there's water that's... right there. There we go. <gasps> <laughs> the people has... Dysentery. That means like they're dirty gits, doesn't it? <laughs> that means that they're pooping a lot. Yes, you dirty, <laughs> you dirty little gits, you. <laughs> Just need to stick their backsides out of the back of the wagon. Ah, oh, I bet it smells lovely in this oh. wagon. <laughs> Bad water. Oh man, what can you do about that? Gotta get some good water. Okay, we're gonna take a drink. 
You are now at Green River Crossing. Would you like to look around? Yes. You know what, Pug? I'd also um, maybe stop to rest. Okay. Give everybody a break. The peoples. The smelly peoples. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk to people first. A young boy tells you, My family didn't buy enough food in independence. We have been eating very small rations since full Laramie. Because of that, our health is poor. My sister has mountain fever, so we stop, were stopped here for a while. Oh, no. Is he trying to hint that he wants me to give him some food? I was thinking that uh, if we stop here, we're all going to get mountain fever. So, oh, so I don't let's know. let's keep on going. I don't know, because we've already got dysentery. No, we're hanging the people on the outside of the wagon. <laughs> We'll be good. I still think, look at our health. I still think we stop and rest because we've got water here. Yeah, I think we take a little Fine. break. You are the lady, Chip Pants. If you get, give us all kind of Ebola, we know who to blame. Look at this coonskin hat on top of my head. <laughs> this means I am the leader and I say we rest. Rest it is. How many days? Rest for five days. Five days? Yep. Good and rested. I say three days, chip pants. There's a little beggar boy outside. You know he's, each night he's going to be trying to thieve our, our loot. They could give us something for it, though, Pug. Uh, yes. And not Mountain Fever. <laughs> All right, five days. Health is still poor. Oh, it's fair it's now. It's fair now. Can we get out of here now, chip pants? Yeah, go on, go on, Pug. It's very rainy, so I wonder if the, the river's thickened up because of that. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 412 feet across Ooh. and 21 <laughs> feet deep. There's no way we're crossing that. You can't ford it, Pug. Weather very rainy. Either cork wagon. I mm -hmm. don't even know what that is. Take a ferry. Wait to see if conditions improve. That's out of the question. <laughs> Get more information. Should we take a ferry? I say take a ferry if yeah. it's available. Five bucks for the ferry? Yeah, let's do that. How long do we have to wait? Only two dies. Not a problem. We are Hang off. on, everybody. We. That is not a ferry. <laughs> it's a raft. <sighs> All right. Every time, I tell you what, every time we cross a river, I'm bracing myself. 144 miles to Soda Springs. I like the sound of this place. <laughs> oh, look at our food, Pug. We gotta, we gotta hightail it. Shall I speed it up a bit, or should I tell them to go easy on the food? No, 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 no. I think we can make it. You think? I can tell them right now and say, look. Ew, hunt stop for it. Stop pigging out at the at, at the back there of the wagon. <laughs> go hunt for some. All right, let's let's get some. I'll get you some food, people. <laughs> I'll be a hero. Come on. He wants a piece of the pug. I don't see anything. There's nothing oh. here. What the hell was that? <laughs> I wonder if they can eat me. Can I move? Yeah, I think you hit return to move. Oh my god, I can move. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be one hell of a hunt, peoples. I think uh, your hunt's almost over. What? Aww. That was a tough hunt. Try it again. Try again. Come on out. Use your pug ears. Oh, that's excellent. all I need, isn't it? Because yeah, I can't carry anymore. Exactly. Agreed. I'll go. I'll go pick it up. Whoa, skunk! Oh. <laughs> he almost pissed in my face, people. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a bear. You, uh, now you're getting gluttonous. Oh, I was getting a bit scared. <laughs> I almost didn't make it back. All right, so we got 230 pounds of meat. But you weren't but able to carry, carry it. Because all you lazy gits were still back at the wagon. I know. Stinking it out. All right, are we good? Or should I tell them to go easy on the food? Well, uh, you yeah, got it. They're going easy on the food. We're going to meager, people. We're going to meager. All right. Don't want to hear no complaints. 
the health is good, so hopefully it shouldn't mean it shouldn't spell disaster. All right, we're heading back on the trail. Oh, another river. No, just a pond. <laughs> it is a landmark. You know what? I think it's 2,000 miles to travel, so we're over halfway there. Let's take a look. Ooh. Aww. Now the people can clean themselves up. They're bums. So they won't stink so much in the wagon. <laughs> look at the oxen back there. They're just ha Everyone's just having a good old time. Oh, health is fair. What's pug mad? It's because you cut off their food. I can hunt for. Oh, I can't. Let's talk to people. Go on. Miles Hendrick tells you I've heard it said that there are many cutoffs to take to shorten the journey. That by taking all the cut shortcuts, you can save many days on the trail. And why not? Saving time and provisions is worth the risk. Where are the shortcuts? Because we're going to going to keep our eyes peeled. Um, Take a look at the map, Pug. I wonder where the next uh, fort is. Now which one's map free? Okay, we're almost at a fort and we can buy some more supplies there and you can increase your food. Alright, let's continue on. Let's roll. Literally. Oh, it looks like it's desert. Weather is hot. 57 miles to the fort. Oh, we're almost there. Food's getting meager. <gasps> Excuse me? Pugman! I've got measles. Well, who gave it to me? It must have been that, that uh, skunk. <laughs> <laughs> that peed on you. Poor old Pugman. I know. The people has a broken arm. <laughs> oh my god, it's gone crazy all of a sudden. Oh no. I think the people got the broken arm from trying to kick Pugman out of the wagon for his measles. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look around. We, we need to do some healing. And some food. And... I noticed how Chip Pants hasn't got into any trouble. Because I'm the leader. The weather is hot. Health is fair. Shall we... We definitely need supplies. Okay. And probably talk to people around. Let's talk to the people first. A fellow travel traveller tells you, Fort Hall is a busy fort. The wide stretches of meadow grass here are just what our tired animals need. As for me, I'll fix up the wagon lakes. Amanda's real anxious to wash all the clothes and linens in one of those clear streams. Well, that nice. <laughs> um... Let's buy supplies, I guess. You know, I think that if we were really low on money... Oh, look at how much expensive it is. If we were low on money, then we'd end up just trading what we have for food and yeah. provisions. we still since... got a bit. Um... Tons. Food. Let's get a thousand pounds. Wow. Well, All right. actually, uh, we've got like a hundred... Get 900 pounds. 900? 900. Okay, we spent quite a bit. I don't think we need anything else. Still doing good on ammo, I think. Alright, we're going to be out of here. Okay. You might want to check your ammo, because maybe it doesn't do one bullet per, you know, bullet ratio. So check your supplies, number two. Got 181 bullets. Okay, you're good for the trip. <laughs> I can just start shooting rapid fire. <laughs> Okay, now change your pace of food. I think you can go back up on that one. This pug man needs to get over his illness. Steady, steady pace, yeah. Oh, that was, sorry. Food rations. Fill in. This should cheer him up. <clears throat> A full sandwich and drink, not just halfies. Yeah. Okay, we, do we need to rest? Go we should some, rest, I go think. Go and rest, yeah. See if Pugman will get over it and what not on the road. And the dysentery. I've got measles. I and mean... there's a broken arm, too, you yeah. know? Give, um, it, give it five. Five days? Six days of rest. 
Ooh, six, go on. Because my face is itchy. <laughs> Oh, health is still fair. You can choose to stay and then buy some more food before we head out. You mean rest again? Yeah, sure. Okay. Another five days? Go on. So we've basically spent two weeks at this fort. The health oh, is good now, though. Nice. All right. Check your food rations again, just to... Might need another couple hundred pounds. Oh, it doesn't say here. Where can I check? Um, <clears throat> Supplies. There we go. Yeah, grab 200 pounds of food. And I think we head out. Uh, shop shops, number nine. Food seven, 200 pounds. Okay. All right. I think I think we've got plenty of money to get us the rest of the way across the country. Okay, 182 <laughs> miles to the Snake River crossing. Mm. Now we've actually been there, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. They don't call it Snake River for nothing. Spider-Man has a sn snake bite. I knew it was called Snake River for nothing. Now he's Snake Man. <sighs> because that's how he became Spider-Man from a spider bite. <laughs> <laughs> he's alright. He's okay. In Adagot Grass again. Very little water. Bad what? water. Spider-Man oh, has died. Oh, from the snake bite. And he should what? now be resurrected as, as Snake Man. That's awful. Maybe we should have rested. But the, the oxen, I don't think, are doing so great. Nobody was friends with Spider-Man anyway, so... Nobody talked to him. No. As long as Pugman's good, <laughs> we continue on. Health is poor, people. God, this is a horrible area. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's also because the time that we're traveling, because it's the summer now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't think of that. You're now at the Snake River crossing. Would you like to look around? Yeah. Oh, hello. Look at that. This game has everything. Uh, continue on. Let's At least there's more food for us now that Spider-Man's gone. <sighs> so he's taken away our points, though, Pug. We could have had higher points if he made it. Our health is poor, but do you, we really want to sit about Snake River? T talk to the people. Talk. Let's talk to the people around here. Okay. Big Louie tells you. Big, Big Louie. Big Louie. See that wild river? That's the snake. Many a craft's been swamped in her foaming rapids. <sighs> her waters travel all the way to Oregon. We'll be crossing her soon and then again after Fort, Fort Boys. Take care at the crossing. Heed the warning from Big Louie, people. Yep. Now, do we rest with poor health or continue on later? Well, I don't know if Pugman's actually gotten over his measles. And the peoples have gotten over their broken arm. I don't know if it tells you. Can you get over a broken arm? I, I don't know if you can. <laughs> it can be mended. And I'm just scratchy, so I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Let's continue on. You must cross the river in order to continue. It's a thousand feet across. Oh, six feet deep. Oh. Hire an Indian to help. <laughs> wait to see if the conditions improve get more information so we either hire an Indian or we cook the wagon I'm going to leave that one up to you Pug it's a, it's a, it's the biggest it's the widest river we've crossed so far the Indians must know what they're doing let's hire an Indian a Shoshone guide says that 
he will take your wagon across the river in exchange for two sets of clothing. Okay. Yeah, that's Spider-Man's clothing, isn't it? Yeah, so we can spare that. <laughs> give him a Spider-Man outfit. <laughs> the Shoshone guide will help you float your wagon across. Oh, that cocky net. Mm, okay. <gasps> what on earth? Everybody brace themselves. Where's the Where's the oxen? Is it under the water? I think they're ha they're hanging out inside. <laughs> <laughs> they're inside the wagon. Ooh. You had no trouble floating the wagon across. Good. Well done. From the Snake River crossing, it is 114 miles to Fort Boys. Is it Boise or Boys? There's oh. a it's Boise, uh, Idaho. So that how... must be it, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Find wild fruits. Find wild fruit. I don't trust the wild fruits out here, Pug. More fruit? It's like we're being set up. Inadequate grass. <coughs> oh, I'm choking on the wild fruit. <laughs> 78 more miles. We're almost there. Very little water. <gasps> Pug I've got a stop! Now. Everybody, stop! Stop the oxen. One of the oxen is injured. Everybody, stop! We have to break right now. Where well, did we... you stop? Being? Okay, okay, I stop. One of the oxen has died. <sighs> Bloody hell! Bad water. What do we do, people? We need to rest. All right, stop and rest. But we're so close. We are close, but still. How many days? Five days for Pugman's recovery. Go on, we've got the food for it. All right, it's a little bit better. Okay, continue on the trail. Continue we'll, on the we'll trail. We'll rest at the uh, forts. Mm hmm. And we need to buy another ox. <gasps> Impassable trail. Lose six dice. And then we were able to pass it? <laughs> okay. Health is good. Everybody seems okay. Heavy fog. Okay, let's have a look at old uh, Boise. Aww. It's like a utopia. What am I looking at? Oh, okay, it's a baby in her arm. What did you think it was? Oh, I see <laughs> now. <laughs> it looks like she's... It, Oh, I won't say. Yeah, what, flick, exactly. Flicking a nipple. <laughs> um, we need an ox. We need some supplies okay, here, Okay, supplies. One oxen. Yes. We only lost one, right? Mm-hmm. And um, we gave up Spider-Man's two sets of clothing. Okay. Got that. We're fine on ammunition. I think Food? we're good. Uh, I'm not sure how much we have left. Let's have a check. We have check supplies. Six hundred and fifty-six. I'd grab two hundred. Uh, yeah, two hundred. Okay, two hundred. Yep. Two hundred pounds. Oh, not two thousand. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, let's have a little chat with the people. Jacob Hofstede tells you, Every night, even though I ache from the day's toil, my head is filled with dreams of the rich farmland of the Willamette Valley. I will build myself a fine, handsome homestead, and I'm certain I'll be rich within five years. Certain. Certainty. Okay. Uh, Is that what we're all doing here? We're all looking for rich farmstead. Yeah, what? I, I don't know what we're looking for. Um, let's have a look at the map and see how far we are. Oh, we are almost oh, there. Oh, yeah, we're almost there. Let's. Um, should we rest a little bit? Because we're only fair health. Let's get good health. All right, go on then. That's fair enough. Five days? Yeah, go on. Might have to get 200 more pounds of food after we rest. There we go. Good health. Nice. Buy some food. Um, 200? That'd be good. Woo! 
Ooh, getting kind of low on the mo money there, but that should totally take us in. Yeah, but we're gonna be we're gonna have no money to spend once we're there. Mm. <laughs> we're almost screwed. Anyway, let's continue on, PayPal. From Fort Bosey, it's 160 miles to the Blue Mountains. I'm getting excited. <laughs> In that grass again. Find wild fruits. Inadequate grass. Impassable trail. Ooh. There's certain things you just can't predict. Okay, Help. our health's gone down to fair. But we're Go. almost near... Oh, who's this oh. little bugger? A thief comes during the night and steals five sets of clothing. Who does he think he is? Bad water, that's no good. We got the blue mountains in sight Our though. Our health punk. is not good. It's fair. The people <gasps> has a snake bite. Rest. Rest before we lose the people. Oh, okay. We'll we'll try and save the people. Now do we have to like suck the poison out of the bite? Uh, hopefully resting should just uh yeah, right. help. Alright. Stop and rest. Give it five. Five you, you people you get five dice and that's all you get. It's still Ugh. fair. But you... may I, I think that we lost Spider Man after three, so maybe five days is a good sign that they're gonna make it. Shall I give him another three days? I think we have the food for it if you like. You get three more dice. Oh no, let's check <laughs> in the map. Three dice. Whatever. They can stay <laughs> fair. We're continuing on. I think it's a good sign that they've made it this far. Oh, no. Okay, we've got six of them, I think. Mm -hmm. You are now at the Blue Mountains. Would you like to look around? Yeah, I sure would. Oh, that's a pretty sight. Isn't that lovely? On this September 14th, 1848. Um, Our health is good now. Okay, let's continue on. Oh, no, let's talk to the people. Uh, Marnie Stewart tells you, we followed the edge of the desert from Fort Boise to the forbidden wall of the Blue Mountains. The hills were dreadful, steep, dreadfully steep, locking both wheels and coming down slow. We got down safe. Poor animals, no grass or water for days. Now, we've been mm. up through those mountain ship pants and yeah. back down again. I think and they are bloody it. steep. <laughs> Continue on. Continue on. We're almost there. Oh, we're going to make it, people. I'm sure of it. Ooh, ooh. The trail divides here. Head for Fort Walla Walla. <laughs> Head for the Dales. Now, if we again, if we needed supplies, like one oxen we could go to the fort or we could just leg it to the dolls yeah let's go to the dolls oh i like the sound of walla walla <laughs> i think that there were crazy chickens in walla walla that's right there were or turkeys turkeys yeah. <laughs> turkeys on the loose on walla walla was reported on the news <laughs> i kid you not it was a wild band of them yeah harassing people like hooligans <gasps> one ox of the wanders ox wanders off, off. But what does that mean? Does it mean that they came back and they were just going on a little journey? It's probably dead. Well, one's <gasps> dead. Oh, so we're down two walks, people. Heavy fog. The weather's still oh. warm. The tongue's broken. Would you like to repair it? Yes. We got it. Yep, yep. We prepared for these things. We did. Everybody's health's good. We're just down two walks. I think we should replace them if you are now we need at the to. Dales. Would you like to look around? Yes, let's see what it looks like. We should take a picture. Ooh. So 
So we're going to have to cross this river. Let's talk to the people. A mountain man tells you these last hundred miles to the Willamette Valley are the roughest, either rafting down the swift and turbulent Columbia River or driving your wagon over the steep Cascade Mountains. Hire an Indian guide if you take the river. What do you think, Pug? we got two options here. Either huh. we're going to be rafting it down the Columbia River or we're going to be driving the wagon over the Cascade Mountains. In reality, I would not go on the river. I would not mess about on water. Uh, but it's quicker. Maybe we should do it if it's quicker. I can only trade, is it? Yeah, we're not at a fort or anything. Maybe there's... Let's take a look at the map. How far are we away from a fort? Oh, it doesn't look like we're near oh, a fort. Oh, we skipped the fort. We can just go forward. Should we just march on forward? Please? March, pug. Yeah, come on. The trail divides here. Float down the river, Columbia River or take the Barlow Toll Road. You gotta pay uh, a toll. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that Pugman doesn't want to pay a toll. <laughs> Columbia River? Go on, the Columbia River. Let's let's end this journey with a bang. <gasps> uh oh. Use the arrow keys to guide your raft through the rushing waters of the Columbia River. I'm thinking that this was a mistake. Uh oh. <laughs> After passing the third direction sign, land your raft at the trail to the Willamette Valley. After the passing third the direction third... sign, land your raft. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Oh, I see, I see. Let's go to this side. Whoop. <gasps> oh, dearie me. The raft has hit the shore. You have lost wow. Pugman. He's drowned. The people have drowned. Three oxen and 101 bullets. Two wagon axles and a tongue. Oh, chip pants. You killed me. I killed you? You told us to take this silly ass river. I, I didn't told tell you, you to crash into the I told wall. you at the beginning I wouldn't mess with the river. <laughs> so only crazy Mel and chip pants are still left. <laughs> Come on, Mel. Let's go. Oh, All right. I'm still controlling it. The, the the spirit of Pugman is still guiding this raft. <laughs> I see. You just tap it once and it just continues to move. Oh. I didn't know that, people. I'm sorry. I'm talking to you in heaven. At least you went down with the people. What is that coming? Okay, this is the first sign? Yeah, the, the first sign. Two more and you can land. Hang on. I almost crashed oh. it again, didn't I? Which side of the river do we want to be on? I don't know. I'm breaking the, the, the left-hand side up there. Yeah. The Washington side of the river. All you right, the... second sign. So after the third sign, I need to land it up the top here. Right. Yes, uh, I think so. Well, I'm not exactly sure which side to land it on. Just hang it in the middle and see if we get any instructions. Mm. Will Chip Pants and Mad Max Mel Gibson make it? <laughs> this is the third sign. What would you like me to do, Chip Pants? I, maybe go down oh, low. Go low, go low, go low. There we go. Right in there. Oh, look at that. Boom. Bingo! Wow! Willamette Valley, Oregon, September 29th, 1848. Well done, Pug. But we did, I didn't get to see it, Chip Pants. I had measles and then I died. Aww. Congratulations, you have made it to Oregon. Let's see how many points you have received. <laughs> <sighs> I've never seen this before, Pug. <laughs> Two people in good health get a thousand oh. points. We got one wagon, fifty points. Two oxen. We lost a lot on that crash, Pug. We lost me. <laughs> and the most the important thing. <gasps> to see if you qualify for the Oregon top ten, please flip your diskette to side one. Did we make it, people? Let's have a look, shall we? Oh! <gasps> 
Oh, oh yeah. you made it into the top ten, Chip Pants. Ninth place. We'll take it. Chip Pants. I wouldn't have liked to come any higher without Pugman and the people. You're still a greenhorn, though. Would you like to make any changes? No. Yay. Oh, well, there we have it, friends. That was the Oregon Trail. Well, what'd you think, Pug? That was better than I expected. <laughs> what'd Actually, you expect? Actually, I've played a few text adventure games back in my day. Yeah. I didn't quite enjoy them. <laughs> this wasn't too bad. And right. especially if you got to play it at school. <laughs> it would make school worthwhile. I never made it that far, ever. I always ended up crashing on a river or dying of disease along the way. But because you had the people and Pugman to sacrifice, you made it. Yep. Because I was the leader. All right, friends. With my coonskin hat. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was the Oregon Trail on the Apple II. A favorite game of Chip Pants. What do you think after all these years, Chip Pants? Did you enjoy it? Um, I did. I really enjoyed that. Um, and I'm glad more more so that I got to show that to you and the peoples. It's, it's, it makes a game just come back to life sharing it with people, right? People you love. That's true. All right, friends. Well, until next time, you guys take care. We'll see you on another video. Bye-bye. That's it.